Hi guys, this is going to be a quick video. It is day five of waist training. Um, what can I say? What can I say? What can I say? Nothing much. Yesterday was my best friend's wedding. So if you follow me on Instagram, you saw the pictures. And um, I wore the corset all day from about 8 a.m. to about 3 this morning a.m. So pretty good amount of time. Um, one side effect from wearing it that long, I was exhausted. It could have been also the long day, but holy moly, this morning I did not want to get out of bed. Um, and this was kind of sore. It did not hurt, but it was definitely a little sore. Um, but I put it on again because, hey, whatever. And ta-da! Um, what else can I tell you? I've been doing teas. Um, I have a yogi cleansing tea that kind of just helps keep everything going and going so it's better for your body it's better for weight loss if it's all clean in there um, and not like held up and stuff it just regulates you more and green tea um I have a new kind of a, like obsession addiction <laughs> there's like the original ones are Brookside but they were out in CVS and these are gold emblem I guess the CVS brand they're pomegranate flavored dark chocolate bites they're really good, but you have to be careful because, like, one third of a cup is 190 calories. But I only let myself, and really, not even let myself now with this thing. You, your cravings just, I don't know what's happening, but my eating is, like, really decreased. Like, I wanted to say a different word, but it didn't pop in my head. It really decreased. Like, yesterday we went to Dave and Buster's, side note, and I had this on, and, um, I had wings. Now, I love spicy wings, and I can eat probably without this thing, or before I started using this, I could probably eat, no lie, like 20, maybe, maybe more. Um, yesterday, I only had like four or five, and I was full. Like, I was full. There was no pass it. I didn't drink much. I had one drink. That was it. I didn't want any more. It was pretty cool. So that's that. It does, for me, everybody's thing is different, but for me, it decreases your appetite. Um a lot and the bending I mean if you tighten it the way it should you're gonna have a little issue going like this and this and this but it's not that bad it's not horrible um the only thing is the next one I have to get well the next one I am getting can't have these little things in the front because they show through on certain shirts that's why I just skipped that and I put it on top of like tank tops which is all I wear during the summer is basically tank tops um I only wore a dress yesterday because my best friend's wedding but I just put it on top of the tank tops and I have shorts on. Oh, we're going to go see uh, After Earth with Will Smith. I think my boyfriend wants to see that. So that's what I'm doing now. Well, soon. And um, yeah, if you have any questions about the corsets or anything, I will let you guys know. I am still doing the monostat thing with the hair. It has been working. I have cut my own bangs for the first time and they don't look that bad. So I'm kind of happy. Um, for some reason, the, my bangs always grow like more than the rest of my hair have no idea why but here's my real hair and it's like past it's like right here right here now so it's growing it's growing the monostat is working I use it every time I wash my hair I just put it in um, I mixed it this time with coconut oil and the Shea Moisture thickening uh, thickening what is it getting something in growth milk growth milk there you go and uh, water mix it all up put it in and it's been working really well so that's something to try if you want to grow your hair also the castor oil has made my hair shiny as if there was no damage to it if you guys go to previous videos you can definitely tell my hair was fried the blonde fried it like you can kind of tell right here I don't know why that piece just doesn't want to cooperate but all along the hair it looks like 50% better so no complaints for me the only thing with castor oil like I said uh, side note it could break you out so be careful around your face but other than that whoop, whoop. Uh, anything else anything else I'm trying to decide maybe you guys can help me I have my real nails right now and I'm using the Sally Henson growth um, nail polish it's right here. this guy and it works but I kind of want fake nails and I don't know what to do so guys, give me your input on that. Do you think fake nails, or should I stay the natural route? Route? Roots route? Mm. Um, 
that's it. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. And hopefully you guys all have a great day. If you have any questions, like I said before, list them below. And bye, guys. Mwah.